All right, guys, let's talk about AMD and SMCI's earnings report. It's exactly what I expected. AMD, they slightly beat on their earnings for this quarter, and then their guidance was only in line with expectations. They have to exceed guidance for the stock to be rewarded in this environment. And so AMD still has not proven themselves, even though data center business went up 80%, there were some positives, don't get me wrong, but you, it, the market is, what have you done for me lately, right? They wanna see, we know investors want to see raised guidance, okay? And since AMD didn't do that, I think the stock's gonna stay around where it's at now for a bit, okay? I still think it's a good long-term company, but they still have to prove themselves, guys. Okay, it's not Nvidia yet. They need to have a huge beat and raise for me to want to jump into this stock, you know, uh, especially short term. I do own a tiny bit long, okay? But also SMCI, okay, this company, again, price for perfection because of how high I put out a video saying it's run from the upper 200s all the way up to the 800s. Obviously, it went even higher than that. But again, this company, they had 200% revenue growth, but it still missed expectations. And here's the other thing though, guidance though was raised. They raised the guidance. Again, but with this stock price for perfection, it's still sold off. But this is one I believe after the Fed meeting, once we clear through that, Powell says, you know, interest rates remain paused. And if he comes across hawkish, then these stocks could dip a little bit. But I expect, you know, SMCI, since they did raise guidance, it may bounce back. But AMD, I don't think will, okay? That's just my opinion, what I think is gonna happen. But again, don't try to predict, just react to what happens, right?